Hello, hello everybody. This is Carmen coming at you live from the sun coast of Florida with my greasy forehead. I'm so sorry. I was trying to get all the things together to be able to talk to you. The lashes are not due to the filter. They are Tori Bell. Check out my friend uh, Lash by C. Aaron if you want to get the hookup. As you're hopping on, tell me hello. Tell me what's up, what's good while we get cooking and, you know, a few more people join in. Um, I just want to share with you a little thing. You guys know I'm doing my 60-hour um, fast and like an hour ago I was going to quit early. Yeah, I was going to quit early because I was hangry and I was irritable. I've never been irritable on these reboot. I get... A little bit of a uh, fasting brain sometimes because you know my brain is out to lunch while I'm fasting sometimes I have all the energy but at that point I was like mm, I think I'm not gonna do this and I was I was kind of out so I decided you know, after hearing people talk about food, after smelling food while I was out trying to return an Amazon thing to Whole Foods and getting frustrated with that, I decided not to quit. Hey, Betty, good evening to you in Grenada. Hello, Karen. Karen, tell us where you're watching from. Oh, you put it already. Shout out to Long Beach, California. Hey, yeah, so... I came back and I got one of my up drinks and with the tropical flavor that I love and I decided I'm gonna tough it out because I was I was gonna just make a, a fat burning shake instead and break my fast and call it a day, but we did not. We persisted. Instead, I know I just said about all the cooking smells I smelled at Whole Foods and about all the cooking talk that was going on on my training. Thank you, Betty, I appreciate you. Hair is Love Me Hair, their Jerry Curl unit. So they had a sale recently, you can check that out too. I'm um, loving me some Love Me Hair. You know I got the wavy one. This one goes more with my natural hair while I'm growing it out. So that made me happy, happy, happy. And we're gonna get into some banana bread, you guys. Tell me this, is banana keto friendly? Let me know if you think that bananas are keto friendly. I'm gonna start with the recipe. We are gonna mix up the dry stuff first. So you're gonna be seeing my hands work more than you're gonna be seeing me. But we are gonna do this together, together. I have my loaf pan pre-greased and we're gonna get where is it? Where is it? One and three fourths cup of almond flour. So this requires a mix of almond flour and coconut flour. So that's one cup and one third cup of almond flour. No, three fourths. All right, so where's the one fourth? One fourth. So now we get to do the Count Dracula. One, a two, and a three makes the three fourths of a cup. Alrighty, so that's it for the almond flour. My super value almond flour from uh, Sam's. And then we're gonna have the coconut flour. We need one fourth of a cup of coconut flour. So, all right, one fourth. Now, um, pro tip, most people put the coconut flour and the almond flour in the fridge. I use them up too fast for me to have them go bad on me. I never have to worry about that. However, if you don't do a lot of baking or you're not doing keto breads and things, um, you should put it in the fridge so it won't go bad, it won't spoil. Never happens to me. I try to make sure I get bags that are easy close, like these, and then it's all good. And then we have two thirds of a cup of sweetener. 
Y'all know my sweetener of choice is the monk fruit. Um, it is always sweet like sugar. So one fourth of a cup of sugar is equal to one fourth of a cup of monk fruit. And it's not gonna spike your blood sugar, folks. So we put that in. Another easy clothes bag. This is from uh, Amazon. So it's running about $20, $21 now. Started off at like 19 for three pounds. Again, I like more bang for my buck. Um, I bought a small bag of Swerve today at Whole Foods, but that cost me a lot. Sorry, y'all, digging for my receipt. So this little bag of Swerve, and I only bought it because it's confectioner sugar. I didn't want to get a whole bag of pure, and I, I don't use the confectioner sugar that often. So that was $7.99 for 12 ounces, barely a pound. 12 ounces, $7.99. That's why we go to the big brand stores. You can get the Lacanto Monk Fruit at... Costco, you can get these, this monk fruit, the health garden at Amazon. So save yourself some money and still get some sweet flavor. And let's see, does everybody else here like to save? If you like to save, put me some dollars in the comments if you like to save money. All right, cause I love to save some money. All right, so now we have to put in our protein powder um, it calls for the regular uh, recipe calls for whey protein, but this is how we're going to make it. Hey, LaToya, tell me where you're watching from, girl. Thanks for hopping on. We're going to use our banana protein that has the PTKs in it plus the MCT oil. So I don't have to worry about the sugar from the banana throwing me out of ketosis. All right. So if the ketones weren't going to keep you in ketosis, the, the banana protons definitely are. I'm going to start to mix up our dry ingredients. Oh my God, the banana smell. Oh, woo. I love the smell of banana. I love this. This was my favorite non-dairy protein. And I got my banana taste in, but I also get high value protein and it mixes like that, whether it's in water or in milk and heavy whipping cream, which I've had some bad experiences with protein. So we need two teaspoons of baking powder. We got our keto friendly baking powder. If you guys want to share this recipe, you can certainly share it to low carb sites. Um, they will love this or to dessert sites or baking sites. Two, two teaspoons, two teaspoons, right? Teaspoon, half a teaspoon, tablespoon. That's not right. That's half a tablespoon. We need a teaspoon. Yeah, two teaspoons. This is what's gonna help it to rise. Two teaspoons of baking powder. So we're gonna finish mixing that up and we need Half a teaspoon of salt. I am going to go like one fourth because I have salted butter instead of unsalted butter and I can taste the salt since I've been keto. I don't like salty sweets, you know, unless it's salted caramel chocolate. That's the only time I like to taste the salt in my sweet stuff. So if you have ghee, go ahead and put the full uh, salt content in there. If you don't, Let's do something else. Oh, come on. Why are you making my life hard? All right, so I'm using one fourth of a teaspoon instead of a half a teaspoon of salt. Because like I said, I don't like the salt taste. A couple of years ago, I made some pumpkin muffins. Really, really good. But it was my first time I used salted butter then I put salt in a recipe. Blech. Oh my gosh, y'all. You know, it was just nothing but salt. Couldn't even taste the sweet. So 
let's mix all of that in together in here. Make sure it's well combined before we put the wet stuff. All right. So you see that's really well mixed and blended. And then we're gonna start with the wet stuff. We need three eggs. The eggs should be about room temperature now. I usually do a better job of that. Two and three. And then we've been having the chia seeds soak here. So it's two thirds water plus, um, I think it's one fourth of a cup, yeah, of chia seeds. This is gonna add some extra protein. You won't taste it because it almost makes like a chia pudding when it's wet. Um, so we're gonna add that to our mixture. So the protein and the fiber in the chia seeds will also take out or um, lower your net carbs. So we're gonna put that in there. And then we need some vanilla. The only thing I didn't have y'all is banana extract. I really shouldn't need it with the banana protons. We need, um, dun, 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 dun. do me a favor. I forgot to turn off my phone calls. Give me some ears and eyes if you can still hear me and see me to make sure that it didn't throw me off. I appreciate you. All right, where the heck are you? Coconut flour, stir in the eggs, banana extract, the vanilla extract. How much vanilla, folks? Oh, half a teaspoon. Never can have too much vanilla. I love me some vanilla. So half a teaspoon of that. Again, from the big box store, the Whole Foods, uh, not Whole Foods, the warehouse store. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all, allergies. Oh, the pollen is like a nine here, so it's like, they're saying it's medium high, but I don't know how much higher we need to go because it's aggravating. All right, Let's see if we can mix this. I need to take out the, um, the hand mixer. So that, that, and that. Let's see. No, don't escape. Uh, all right. Come on, people. All right. Get it out of the whisk. We want all the stuffs. Anybody give me some eyes and ears? Let me know that you can see me and hear me. I'm gonna mix the rest with my spatula. And then we're gonna fold in our Lily's dark chocolate, bacon chips. That's gonna add some extra sweetness. I just got the regular, I didn't do the flavors. I didn't do the white chocolate version because I've never made the banana bread before, so I really do try to stick to the recipe the first go round. Don't be shy, y'all. I see some new people hopping on. Give me a wave, drop a one in the comments if you're catching me live. If you see that red live button up in the left-hand corner, you're catching me live. If there's no red live button, then you're catching the replay. Put a hashtag replay in the comments. I appreciate you. All right, so, and I'm not tasting anything tonight because like I said, I decided to keep my fast going, but I think I can handle the smells from this. So that's why you guys still get the recipe. All right. Let's see, oh, the butter. I forgot the butter. So we um, put one stick of butter, melted butter in here, or half a cup. I forgot a major thing. Hey, Mamie, what's up? How are you out in Jersey? We're a little bit cooler here in Florida today. Um, we're back in the low 70s. 
and it's not as windy as it was yesterday, but we're not freezing like my peeps in New Orleans and Dallas. Um, so I guess we'll be thankful for that. A little banana bread on a cool day is good stuff. Hey, Anna Dean, thank you for watching. If you guys are new to the Keto Crew broadcast, drop new in the comments. I'd love to know where all my new people are and where you're coming from. Everybody's welcome. This is a healthy living uh, broadcast. So we broadcast things about health and wellness, um, healthy recipes. Um, you don't have to be keto or low carb to benefit from the stuff I share on here. We will try to make some recipes that are not really healthy or loaded with sugar and carbs healthier so if you want me to try some of those recipes just drop it in the comments or even better yet drop it in my inbox um, sometimes your question may become the next broadcast so make sure that we're friends before you shoot me anything in the inbox oh me maybe what what's the temperature up there in jersey I do not miss the cold up in the north. I really don't. It's pretty to look at. It's pretty if you're visiting. I need my beach and my sun. Just gotta have it. So we did that, we did that. We did dark chocolate chips. Half a cup of water. Did that. I don't know how thin it wants to be. We'll see what happens with the half a cup of water. I don't know that we'll need it. Just to thin it out a little bit, they said. All right. First time making this, folks, just for you guys. Um, supposed to be more like a batter. So we'll see if we can get it more batter-like with the water. Looks like the light is dimming. Can you guys still see what's in the, the mixing bowl? Let me know. I'm going to try to brighten up the situation. What's the situation? No, it's not happening. All right, it's not gonna let me fix the situation. I can brighten up my lights, maybe that'll help. It tends to wash me out sometimes if it's too bright. So we'll pour a little bit more water. I don't think we should have to use the whole half a cup, but I'll try to make it more like a batter. I think the chia seeds thicken it up a little bit and they keep expanding. But it seems like it's pretty well mixed to me. 36 degrees. Oh my goodness. That's too much. Even with the right gear, that's too much. I saw pictures today of snow in Texas. Um, I haven't seen anybody with snow in New Orleans, but we, we were definitely getting sleep. They closed the causeway that goes over the Lake Pontchartrain. They closed some of the bridges because of the ice and sleeting, because y'all know we from the south. We don't know how to deal with that. We don't have no salt on the roads, none of that stuff. So um, they had to close some roads and stuff. And they already had had some trees breaking and stuff under the heavy ice conditions last night. So I don't know what's going on today. Tomorrow, no, today was supposed to be Fat Tuesday. So Fat Tuesday got canceled and Gasparilla got canceled, but we can still have a party here. We can still have parties at our house and be safe and have all the Fat Tuesday foods Shoot, we can even do a parade down the um, street. I heard um, that they had the floats lined up in Ottoman Park um, at home. Hey, Rich, what's happening? 
Yes, you know it. You know it, Rich. If this comes out as a success, though, because this is my first time making banana bread. So we shall see. But I'll be happy to make it for you. Can't eat it, but I'll be happy to make it for you because I'm mostly keto. Even with my little tools to help me, I try to stay mostly keto. I think that's enough water. So we're going to put it in the loaf pan. The oven has been heating to 350. Oh, that smells so good. It smells amazing. So we're going to put it in here for 60 to 75 minutes. And I will shoot a picture into the comments and into the stories so you can see what it looks like. But no taste test until tomorrow because I just can't taste it tonight. Still fasting. Love this banana smell, though. So like I said, I grease the, the loaf pan. It's easier, cooks faster with the loaf pan, but you can use a nine by five if you want. A nine by five pan if you want. It's just better in the loaf pan. Oh man, that smells good. I wish I had Smell-O-Vision to share it with y'all. We need that one. Clean hands, my kitchen, no snipe. So just making it even and level. Wanna get all the good stuff in there. Try to distribute the uh, chocolate chips throughout pretty good. And that is it before it goes in. Give me some eyes and ears if you can really see it. Hey mom, I'ma save you some. Maybe I'll get brave enough to try a king cake later. Who knows? Who knows? Um, thanks for the love. If you guys love this recipe, um, please shoot me some hearts in the comments or flying up. If you love these kinds of uh, broadcasts, put a 10 in the comments. Also, feel free to share it out to your friends who want some healthy um, treats because you don't have to deny yourself all the good stuff if you are using some of my recipes. Thank you, Mamie, for the tech support. If you guys want some more of these recipes, drop recipe in the comments below and I will get you hooked up with this recipe and others. Just make sure that we're friends so that I can answer your uh, comments and talk to you in your inbox and get you into the recipe group. So. That's it for tonight. Remember to play with your food and that keto or healthy eating doesn't have to be tasty, tasteless. We got lots of flavor in the kitchen, okay? Okay. Thank you for the 10, Mamie. If you share me out, put shared in the comments so I can thank you personally for the share. I appreciate you. You're very welcome, Kathleen. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Make sure you're on the VIP list so you can get notified before I go live by putting VIP in the comments. If you want Facebook to notify you, smash my face, press the three dots in the upper right hand corner and tell Facebook you want to make me a favorite because you know you do. So make me a favorite and tell them you want to see me first in your news feed. And I'm out. <laughs>